fool. Ay, I just got a new Porsche. Ay, Rocket got a Rory, that's a new horse. Hi, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Bree, and today I'm going to be making my first official YouTube video. And really, this is just because I've been nervous, I've been pushing it off, but I'm like, I'm ready. Like, if the time is ever, the time is now. Because right now I'm in quarantine, I'm doing online school, there's no point, no reason why I can't do it. So, today is going to be the video for you guys. And then I'm going to be posting at least one or two videos a week. So look forward to that, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and put your post notifications on. I really appreciate it, and let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, I want to say my face is a little shiny because my hair is still wet too, because I just got out the shower, so I have oil on, that's why it's shiny, my face is always shiny, so... Anyways, so today my video is going to be about 17 and pregnant and how it started, I guess. So, I'd say it goes all the way back to last year in November when I was in school with my boyfriend. And things at home, they were just like stressful. Like, I didn't want to be here. I just wanted to move out. I just wanted to be with my boyfriend. Just you know like a defiant little teenager or kid I guess that's how I was and I mean of course there was things going on like nothing bad but it was just so many people here and I didn't want to live here so I would like I brought my stuff to school for a whole week like all my things that I wanted and I went and stayed with my boyfriend's friend's house with him for the, like a week and when the weekend hit my mom had called the cops on us and she was like trying to make me come home and I did not want to come home and they did this like twice and on the third time I thought like at this time before this happened I was like I think I'm pregnant and I took a pregnancy test I took a pregnancy test and it said pregnant but then I took another one and it said not pregnant so I was a little confused because I thought I was pregnant but then I wasn't but I still said I was pregnant. So the third time when the police came to bring me home, I was like, y'all taking me away from my man. Like, I'm pregnant. I want to be with him. Da, 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 da. Just trying to make up excuses so they couldn't take me home. And we made a huge deal, but they were like, since you're only 17, you have to listen to your parents. You have to go home. It doesn't matter what you think. And so I went home. And I told my mom that I was pregnant. I showed her the test. And so then she made me a doctor's appointment. Like she was, so, she didn't even say nothing. She was so mad at me. So she made me a doctor's appointment. We went to the doctors. I had the pee in the cup and do that test. And they said that it came back negative. So I wasn't pregnant at the time. But I really do think I was pregnant before that. And I had a miscarriage just because of everything that was going on, all the stress that was going on. It was just a lot. It was a lot. And, I mean, it's not like, oh, I accidentally got pregnant. Like, I really, I'm not going to say I purposely got pregnant. But I did, like, I did want to have a baby. Like, I love babies. I want a baby. Everybody's pregnant. Like, I felt like everyone was pregnant around me. And I was like... I'm like gonna be the best mom ever and I want a baby and I'm not pregnant I don't know it was just something about that I guess so then after that like the police officer when I told him I was pregnant before he was like well you have to get it confirmed which obviously I tried but I was negative so I was like so I need to get pregnant if you could get pregnant then you can go to court and be like I'm trying to become a legal adult, I have a baby, you know, I have two jobs, I have a license, like, I want to move out, but I wasn't pregnant, so I was convinced if I got pregnant, then I could move out, because I just did not want to live here at the time, like, I didn't want to live here, so we tried to get pregnant, it went, I went as far as getting the app, 
to track my um, period and like it would tell you like your ovulation day like we was doing doing like doing it a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and especially on the ovulation day you do it before on the ovulation and the day after and we did it for that like all those times all in the week for months for months and i did not get pregnant i did not get pregnant and i was like so convinced i'm like i really don't think i can get pregnant like i should be pregnant by now like there's no way like people accidentally get pregnant by using a condom and getting pregnant but i'm not even doing nothing like i'm not even protecting having protected sex so i should be pregnant by now that's how i was thinking and then i was just like i guess i just can't get pregnant and really it just made me super sad like it made me really upset and i just wanted to have a baby like that's all i wanted and i felt like he knew that too so i don't know but th when we first thought i was pregnant that was back in november last year so months have gone by and it's march march of 2020 and i'm at walmart and i'm like in the beauty aisle i was thinking about to get some like pads or tampons or whatever and then i was thinking like when was my last period like i was just thinking like it's been a minute so then like i'm walking through the aisle and then right in the beauty aisle we have the pregnancy test and i am before when i was trying to get pregnant for months I spent hundreds of dollars on pregnancy tests hundreds hundreds so I walked over there I seen the pregnancy test I'm like mm, I don't know I don't know because I spent a lot of money on these things so I'm like I'm just gonna get one the one dollar one like the little one that has the lines I'm just gonna get that one so I got that one and I took it home and then the next day I took it in the morning and it was like the one that had the line so i took it and it was like just a faint line like it wasn't enough to show so it was like in between pregnant and not pregnant because the line meant you was pregnant so i was just like i don't know what that means let's get more so i went back to the store and i got like three more three more tests four more tests and i took all of them and I took all those tests the next day, I think. I had woke up at like 5 in the morning. I peed in the cup and I took them. I took all the tests and I just waited. I waited and I waited for like two minutes or something. And they all came back positive. I'm like, I'm pregnant. And like, it's been months. Like, I haven't been trying to get pregnant. Like, it has been months and months and months and months since we actually like try we just was like guess it doesn't matter you're not gonna get pregnant i'm like yeah i give up so like six months later i'm pregnant and i sent him a picture of all of them it's actually hold on i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get that real quick because i kept them so these are all the ones I even put the dates and stuff on there. Like, all of them, like you can clearly see, all of them like came back pregnant. That was, that was the beginning of March, March 17th. All of them, but these don't work, these don't say pregnant anymore, but these, this is five of them. <laughs> took five of them this one you can barely see it but yeah pregnant 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 all of them so i was like i'm gonna get pregnant so the next day i think we were in the car driving around me and my boyfriend and i'm like i need to go to the doctors like that's the first thing you're supposed to do is go to the doctors so i called the doctors and I was like, they didn't answer and I like sent them a voicemail to set up a pregnancy test. So they called me back 
and they was like can you come in in like one hour and I'm like alright so we was out driving around anyways so we just pull up to the doctors an hour later and I go in there do the pee and it come back positive and I was pregnant so they um they asked me why my last period was and I wasn't really sure I had thought it was um like maybe the end of January or something so then we figured out that I had got pregnant on February 6th that's when I got pregnant and so then I went and I told my mom I told her well I showed her the papers because I didn't want to tell her I feel like she would be mad but this is like months later like before we were fighting when I was trying to move out and stuff but I excuse me I had got really cool with my mom since then and um we just like we do a lot more better we're close you know so she wasn't as mad as she would have been if it was before you know so I show her the papers and then she just started calling making appointments and stuff and so then she was like mad she wasn't mad mad but she was mad and pretty much even to this day she's still like you did this to yourself she doesn't have sympathy for me like I mean I get it I know that I did but like at the same time like I, I also did want a baby but I wasn't planning on it you know but it's like I wish she would give me a little more support sometimes like I mean she supports me she makes my appointments and stuff it's just she's pretty much like has the attitude of you did this to yourself like if I'll be like my stomach hurt I'm hungry like sometimes she'll give me some food but she's not gonna go cook because i'm hungry she'll be like just find something to eat you know what i'm saying i don't know so yeah and i was really nervous to tell everybody about it because last time when i thought i was pregnant everybody knew so this time i was like i really want to take it slow telling anybody about it so from the longest time nobody knew like my best friend my boyfriend my mom knew and then we accidentally told my little sister and she started telling people just one person but so i don't know we just slowly started telling people i guess and recently like i'd say even two weeks ago i had just told my whole entire family like i have a lot of family so i just told all of them and then I decided I wanted to post it and let everybody else know who are my friends but aren't like real close to me. So we made a post like I think last week about it and like did our picture and stuff. So I felt like that was like a big weight off my shoulders too just knowing that everybody knew now. Because I'm just like it's not like I want to tell everyone in the world it's just like I don't want to hide it you know because I'm happy. Like, at first, I wasn't sure, like, what I was going to do. Like, I was honestly like, should I put it up for adoption? I'm scared. Like, I didn't know. And my boyfriend was just like, whatever you want, I'm there with you. And so that made it a lot harder, too, because I'm just like, I don't want to make the decision on my own. But it really is for me to make because it's my body. I'm going to be the one dealing with it. So after a while, I decided I was going to keep it. I mean, clearly, still pregnant, still 17. Actually, my birthday is in 13 days, so, yo. And so we decided we were going to keep it. And we told his family. And his family, they were more happy about it. I feel like this is going to be their first grandbaby, like his parents. And my mom already has, like, five grandchildren. So she's not, like, excited, I feel like. I mean, I feel like she's happy but not excited. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? But so yeah, and we've been planning our gender reveal party, which I'm also gonna make a video of the gender reveal whenever we do do that. I think it's gonna be July 11th, 
but we're still planning out the dates and stuff for it because we're finding out july 6th what the gender is going to be so i'm really excited like i was scared at first i've been through a lot it's been a lot but we're doing it and we are already in the second trimester i'm going to be 15 weeks tomorrow so it's just it's going good you know like at first it was scary but you know we're doing it so that's what's up and i just want to give y'all you know the tea and how it kind of happened um we're also going to do another video on how we met so just stay tuned because i'm definitely going to be posting more i just had to get over that fear of like the first video and all that but I'm definitely going to be uploading at least once or twice a week. So please stay tuned. And like, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.